is another way you can get your development environment running using a contained environment called Docker. Containers are isolated, lightweight units which can be used to run applications. Unlike virtual machines which emulate the hardware, containers sit on top of the operating system and emulate the kernel. Kernel emulation with containers is referred to as containerization. Containers are becoming popular in organizations of all sizes because they are more efficient and reliable. The portability of containers also simplifies deployment process and makes them popular for development environments. Docker is the application platform that is used to run containers. It was originally developed for Linux but is now supported on Windows. This means that SQL Server can utilize containers regardless of required base operating system. An important consideration when containerizing SQL Server is that containers are stateless. One advantage of this is that you can drop container and spin them up very quickly and easily. A side effect of this is that if you have data files under the container, when you drop the container, the data files are also destroyed. For this reason, user data files and the MSD data files must be stored outside of the container. You can get started with Docker by heading over to docker.com and then do a download. Once the download is completed, open the executable file. Select OK to continue. And it's unpacking a bunch of files. Once the installation has been completed, click close and restart. Once the reboot is completed, then Docker will show you their service agreement. So select accept and then open the application. After a few minutes, this notification will pop up. So select the link and it will pop up a web page. Now you need to download the Linux kernel update for Microsoft. So select download. Once the download is completed, open the executable file. Select next to continue and then select finish. So the installation has been completed, so now select restart. At this point, if Docker doesn't automatically pop up, then reboot your computer. Once Docker is restarted, you'll have the option to skip the tutorial or start. So for now, we want to skip. So to install SQL Server on Docker, there are two commands that you need to run from the terminal. So let's head over to my notepad. Open the terminal. So the first step is to pull SQL Server from the Microsoft container. So it's currently pulling the file. So the download has been completed. And before executing the command, I want to change my port from 1433 to say 1432 because I don't want my laptop to be confused and wondering which SQL Server I am connecting to because I have one running on my local machine already, so I need to specify a separate port. Now execute the command in the terminal. So you'll get this pop-up, so allow access. Now let's go back to the Docker container. I should be now seeing SQL Server and these are the two ports which it's running on. So before I can connect to the SQL Server container, I need to start the image. So now I can launch Management Studio and try and connect. However, if I connect using local host, it will be connecting to the host that is on my machine. So using a separate port is how I specify which instance I want to connect to. So specify the local host name. If you are connecting to another server, then you actually specify the server name. So it's 1432. So I now need to specify SQL Server Authentication and then get my username and password from the installation command. So here it was the SA password which was specify. So if I specify SA, then connect, and I should be connected to my SQL Server instance successfully. If I'm supposed to expand databases, I would see the regular databases just like I was connected to a regular instance. Now if you look carefully on this icon here, 
you will see it's the Linux icon which indicates our server is running on Linux in a Docker container. As you can see we have various options for running SQL Server. It doesn't matter which option you go with for your installation, managing the database is pretty much the same.